Hey YouTube, Dan Ottawa here coming at you with team ideas for Ultra League Premier Classic, which starts today. So if you do not have the XL Pokemon to compete in Open Ultra League, you now have the chance to play Ultra League Premier Classic, which is no XL and no Legendary. So what I'm going to do is I'm, so I have like, for, so for those of you, let's just do, I love doing history lessons here. For those of you who have not played since like seasons one seasons one before excel were in invented it was just ultra league was non excel pokemon and then for a while when excel started becoming a thing they still had this premier classic which is no legendary no excel so you would always have options for level 40 pokemon or less to play in this ultra league uh premier classic for the last couple seasons now it seems like they've gotten rid of premier classic but now they have brought it back here so what does that mean for you it means you're going to see a combo of a lot of old teams, which I'm going to go through in a second, but a couple new Pokemon up on this list that I just want to go over, uh, and I'll kind of explain why they're on that list. So let's start with Trevenant. So Trevenant is a funny one because my Trevenant in Ultra League is like a top one of the top ranked, but it's like 44 level 44. So I think I don't know what the exact IV is here, but you can get like a close to you can get like a level 40 Trevenant for the Ultra League. So. I, that is why it's one of the top. And same with Nidoqueen. My Nidoqueen is also, um, also a uh, XL, but you can get it non-XL. So you're going to see a combo of these two if you can get a good uh, IV win to get to level 40. Swampert has is still an open ultra, and it was the meta in Premier Classic before. And Dragonite was also the meta in Premier Classic before because of how strong of an answer it was to Swampert. And there was a couple fairies, but not much. And then there was like Venusaur in this. And then there was fighters in this. So Dragonite was a big answer. And I expect Dragonite to be everywhere again as well. Um, Como, uh, Como again, is a newer one, which you may see. I think a lot of people just use Dragonite because Como is kind of... Uh, Como has... Uh, that's the thing now. Dragonite has superpower. The, what made Como good was it has close combat. But I think a lot more people will probably just use Dragonite over Como. Or they may do double, double Dragon in the back with like um, something in the front to deal with Charmers. If there's a Steel, like Steelix, I see Steelix here. Perhaps that's an option, right? So Steelix, Double Dragon in the back. Sneasler, I'm not going to worry about that. Surfetch, so Surfetch, uh, and Machamp's lower, which is interesting, but Surfetch, let's just talk about Surfetch. Uh, where's Machamp? Lucario, Machamp, Blaziken to a certain extent. These were your counter, Toxicroak. Those were your counter users that always dominated uh, Ultra League, uh, there's not a ton of, but there was there wasn't a ton of steel like because Glaren Stunfisk was too high. Uh, Steelix is now in. We'll talk about that in a second. But for the most part, it was used because it did okay against like Sw uh, Swampert in general. Uh, but then there was also a lot of Lapras and Snorlax were a combo there too. And I'll add Wall Rain to a certain that so so you have Snorlax. Oh, I forgot Escav. Escav is my like secret, secret weapon in Ultra League. Uh, but like Walrein, Snorlax, Lapras, a lot of these things that took uh, super effective against counters. That's why you see have a lot of counter users. Luxray is now added in at 1117. It was kind of niche before because it was, it was, but the Psychic fans just kind of gave it a boost, right? Because it now gives you that bait option and then a nuke option. And a nuke option against like Dragonite as a flyer and a few other, and Psychic fans now do well against coverage move for like Venusaur if you see that. Steelix, Steelix is one of those where same thing, like it wasn't around much before most Steelixes right now that you see are XL, so you need a certain one to get into this Premier Classic. So I don't know if a lot of people have it, but the Psychic Fangs again, bulky Psychic Dragon Tails always do, does well against the other dragons, and Psychic Fangs gives you like a bait option. Glade was one of the best safe swaps in open uh, because there was not a ton of just pure ghosts like Trevenant before, right? So Trevenant's here now, so it may change. But Glade, because the only other like ghost that could beat you before was uh, Gengar. And Gengar's half poison, so you did super effective against it. And it was just like, it was like a quickest match ever because it was, took like three confusions and a few shadow claws and punch to take you out. So <laughs> it was just a fun match. Walrein, again, I expected to see here a lot just because you got the dragons you can take care of. It does well against Swampert. So I would expect to see some Walrein. Snorlax is a great answer to just wall, just lick, uh, lick your Trevenant all the way down if you can. Ascab was my secret weapon because it was a counter user, 
that didn't take super effective to vary. Uh, so that was a nice option. Draw run is a great move too. Um, and then you're going to get into some niche, like Gliscor is a fun niche one. Gyarados is a strong Pokemon. I got a, I got a all uh, community day team coming up. And then you get to like some other Pokemon down here that we won't go into too much, but you may see them. Like Heracross is a good option. Toxicroak is a good option. Uh, Togekiss and Sylveon are your charm users for your dragons. You'll see those. I've got those on some of my teams. Um, again, Gengar's a lot lower now than it would have been before. Uh, there's Muck. Where's Amok? Did I miss Amok? I'm surprised Amok isn't higher because Amok was one of the best safe swaps in here. Why is it so low? Oh, because it's running Poison Jab. I honestly, I prefer just going um, Snarl, Dark Pulse. Quite honestly, Dark Pulse and Sludge Wave are such hard hitting moves. I prefer that, but you can use either option there. Venusaur is out there a lot. Um, so yeah, you're going to see a, some combos, everything. So let's go over some history of teams I've used. And you're going to see how old these teams are with just black background and no, this was like a year and a half ago that I like put out this team. So very, very easy, typical, cover your weaknesses. Uh, so Venusaur, weak to fire, covered by Swampert. Swampert is just a beast. It'll be weak to uh, grass, cover that one of the only grass before again one of the only grass before was venusaur so you can cover that with confusion but now there's trevenant so this team may not work with trevenant um you can still do okay here but i honestly now that i'm looking at this team i probably wouldn't run this team exactly the same just because trevenant is here if you want you can put in like a like a nita queen if you have a nita queen instead of venusaur i wouldn't mind that uh, plus it gives you a little more options with like Dragonite. So I would probably put a Nita Queen into where the Venusaur is here. Second team, uh, this was a, again, it's just funny to see like, this can now get to XL uh, Meganium, but this was like another option for our cover your weaknesses. Like your main weakness in the back here would be uh, water. So you cover that with grass and then Gengar, was a pretty spammy option that covered almost everything there wasn't there wasn't because there wasn't a ton there's obstagon was the only thing that came later so there wasn't just like a ton of dark pokemon that only that would wall this which is why i was running shadow Bot punch and shadow ball because there wasn't like obstagons and there wasn't a lot of normal type there's snorlax so you may want to run i have run in the future run focus blast on this just to blast like snorlax and no one expects it so it's a fun option if you want to do that um this, I think, is one of the best teams and one that I'm probably going to run with first, just how strong it is. It's a mixture of Team Bulk in the back, Lapras and Snorlax. It's an AB style team, double weeks of fighting in the back, but Ice Shard, Ice Beam on Lapras, uh, Lick Super Power Body Slam, that if you pull out a fighter, you're still going to grab a shield and then punish it with Dragonite and the other one will roam free, plus the back Ice and uh Lick will do well against, and Dragonite will do well against Trevenant. So these are good answers for Trevenant. This is a good answer for Nidoqueen. This is a good answer for uh, Swampert, right? So this team is super strong and I think it's going to be, uh, I think a lot of people had some variations of this. I think this is going to be a pretty strong team and one that I'm probably going to run first, quite honestly, just how strong it is. Then I went to a all community day. Uh, team so frenzy plant venusaur aqua tail gyarados and hydro cannon and Empoleon. why this was why this was strong so gyarados is a nice one because it is hits super, it hits hard with the dragon breasts against like other dragon users but it's not a dragon right it's half flying half water so it's nice to have just that dragon breath damage without having to take super effective from dragon or fairy uh, aqua tail is just a fast charging spam move and crunch just you know, your coverage on like Trevenant and stuff like that, right? Is, is looking good. Venusaur is still good because the Swampert is one of the top ranked Pokemon in this. So being able to hit with the Frenzy Plant on Swampert is just an instant KO. So great coverage there. And then I covered your Fire Weakness on the back with Waterfall and Polyon. Waterfall and Polyon was super strong in this meta early because that half steel typing uh, neutralized the grass. So it only hit for normal, neutral. And then Waterfall is a hard hitting move. Hydro Can is a beast. Drill Peck for great coverage on the on the grass. On, yeah, on the uh, grass Pokemon that would try and come in and punch you there. Uh, probably, again, I use Venusaur a lot just because it was sort of like the strongest answer to, to Swampert, which were everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, it mean like three to four 
if you're doing a set of five, three teams minimum would have Swampert on their team. I don't think that's going to be the case anymore because of Trevenant. But again, Natick Queen's one of the top one too, so maybe you'll still see a lot of Swamperts. Um, but maybe you'll now see a lot more Trevenants, not Trevenants, uh, Walrains, right? Walrain can deal with both Trevenant and Natick Queen to a certain extent now after the nerf. But And then Polyrath was a... I'm using Ice Punch and Scald. You can use Dynamic Punch for coverage, but Ice Punch and Scald which is kind of like a nice coverage... Ice Punch for the Dragons, Skull for just kind of stab neutral. Excadrill, not Excadrill, Escavalier was my secret weapon. Again, it's half steel, uh, so it's a counter user, which doesn't take super effective from Fairy. Uh, Drowin's a super hard hitting move. Megahorn's a hard hitting move. Both counters are, again, one of the best fast moves in the game. Drowin and Megahorn kind of going fast charging. So it's a nice Pokemon, just gets lit up by fire. Just keep that in mind because you're bug steel. So, and then Venus, I've mentioned multiple times. Uh, this was my, this is a team, again, I just used Sylveon in the open league, I, I just put out, uh, I just put out a video, I put out videos recently, I think yesterday, about how just strong Sylveon was in the XL, so between the Dragons and even, like, Swamper and Trevenant, like, Charm Sylveon is going to have a lot of play in this meta. I just went over Empoleon, and then Muck is a great answer to a lot of things, like, it walls your Venusaur with the grass. It snarl. I, I use snarl foul play because it just hits so hard. And sludge will like one shot, like a shadow dragonite. Uh, you have coverage versus your Trevenant here. Uh, it just this muck was one of the best safe swaps in open ultra for a long time. That and Gallade. It answers Gallade to a certain extent. So it was just one of the best answers. It beats Snorlax. It it just beat a lot of the core meta that you saw in open ultra in uh not open ultra premier classic so i think that it probably is going to have some play again as well and then the last team um i went over escav crobat is one of those where it gets to level 40 like that one fit uh, well i mean it gets to level 40 no matter what but 115 15 was like just under level 40 like a fort level 41 is the 115 15 because i have that so great answer for uh both trevenant and Nidic Queen right off the top, right? Air Slash for the Trevenant. Uh, you're taking Resisted, Shadow Ball, sh uh, Poison Jabs, and Earth Power if they have that from the Nidic Queen. And you can hit them with Shadow Ball. So great coverage there. Uh, and then this is a double counter team. This is, uh, I don't, I'm surprised why I'm in double counter, but I think it was because I wanted the back line to deal with, maybe this is when Trevenant started popping up or others started popping up that was causing problems. So it's just a nice answer to wall trevenant as you can see nice slash cross shop still the old moves anyways that's it i'm excited for this one to come back uh like i said i think there are so many different combos of teams that you could use in the uh open i'm not open the premier classic that you cannot use in open so I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try diff different combos out here and see what works so that's it uh good luck let me know what you're using in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next one